everybody, it's the Boss Lady here coming to you today with a small thrift haul as well as I want to give you um, two reviews on two items that I tried from Dollar Tree. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, first thing is... Um, I normally, like I told you in one of my thrift haul videos, I normally don't go to uh, Goodwill. Um, very, I mean, very rarely. So only like a couple times a year. Um, the thrift store of my choice is called Arc Village. We have about five or six of those, I think. Um, I'm trying to cover up the little edges. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so I went to Arc Village because I'm a rewards member with them. And so after you get... I think it's a thousand points, you get a ten dollar uh, coupon. So I'm roughly about less than 400 points from getting my coupon again um, because I don't go as often as I would like. I go at least once a month. So anyway, um, I went this evening because they had uh, it's 50% off Yellow Tag Day. And so I noticed a lot of things that I like uh, in this store. Is norm it normally has a yellow tag, so I said, well, let me go see what they have today. So, <clears throat> I went and I found some different candle holders. So, the first set that I picked up was these. Let me see if I can... So, it looks like this. And then that's a, another view of it. They were 79 cents a piece, and I got two for 79 cents. The next set I picked up looked like this, and these also were two for 79 cents, because they're 79 cents a piece, but they're 50% off, so, you know, in retrospect, you get two for 79 cents. Then the next set of candle holders that I picked up, and this is actually the last set, they look like this, and as you can see, let me see here. One says 79 cents. The other one said $1.49. So I grabbed, you know, one of the ladies on the floor and I said, you know, same exact item, two different prices. And she said, we'll give it to you for the lower price. So I said, okay, no problem. So I got these two also, uh, two for 79 cents. And what I like about these ones, they're all different. Um, but these ones I can put uh, a long stem or a votive in it because the the long stem will go right here in this little centerpiece or if I didn't want to use that little centerpiece I could put a votive in here and then these ones here they hold a votive or possibly even a tea light and then these ones hold the long stem candles so I like the fact that I got three different variations, and then these ones here I can use two different ways. Um, I thought they were very pretty, and um, I'm going to definitely be using these in a tablescape coming possibly soon here, depending. Um, but I also wanted to get some different type of candle holders because I want to have them throughout the house, especially during holiday time. And so I got a vision for um, some different things that I want to do for the holidays and so um, that's why I've been picking up as you can pro probably tell I've been picking up a lot of different candle holders um, for the kitchen as well as just for the regular part of the house so um, I did see some other things that I wanted but they weren't at the 50% off price um, I even saw some uh, some dishes that were I think like each plate was like a dollar forty nine. Um, the bowls were $1.49 and then they had coffee mugs that were $1.49. So it wasn't bad prices, but I prefer to get them on the 50% off day. So if they have them when their tag goes 50% off, great. If they don't, that's fine. Um, I did see some glasses that I liked, but it seemed like all the glasses were a set of three and not a set of four. Or it would be a set of two, but not a set of four. Um, and for me, I always like to set a table for four as opposed to two or to three. Um, even though there's only three people in the house, still I always like that extra place setting. Um, except for the porch table, that is a place setting for two. But I can add additional if I need to. So anyway, let's move on to these um, items from Dollar Tree. So in... Uh, 
one or two videos, I think at least two different videos, um, I showed you two different items. So the first one is this, the Crock-Pot Home Style Vegetable Broth. And I try, I bought two when I hauled these. And I tried it for the first time this past Sunday. And so I made a vegetable soup. And it was amazing. The broth was great. Um, the sodium count is 570. And as I told you in one of my videos, we are trying to watch how much sodium we do and take. Because, you know, the people don't gave boss lady their pressure. So, <laughs> I have to watch my sodium intake. But, um... Using this, I had to use very little seasoning compared to, you know, the other broths that I've used in the past. And I really like the way it tasted. Um, when I was at Dollar Tree last night, I did notice they had still a bunch of these. So I plan to go and haul some more this coming weekend because they don't expire until February 2016, which is great because once it is um, the fall of the year, we will be doing a lot of soups and beans and chilies and whatever. And so, um, and I make a, a variety of different soups and stuff for the house. Because living in Minnesota is like living in Antarctica. We freeze to death. So, <laughs> I have to make sure we got stuff that's going to stick to the bones. Um, so, this definitely, if you have not tried this broth, I know they have it in beef. And I think chicken, but I know vegetable for sure. Um, if you haven't tried it, pick it up. It is a great broth. And um, this one is reduced sodium, so it's a win-win for the boss lady's household. The next one is something that I just hauled last Friday. And you saw this in the haul video when I went grocery shopping. And it was the Louisiana Cajun uh, broth. And... Even though I did say in my haul video, you know, I didn't like the sodium count. It's 810 milligrams. Um, it's good, okay? I ain't gonna lie. It's good. It's good. Oh, my God in heaven. It is good. Um, you know, they have the three different pictures on the back. It shows gumbo, um, jambalaya, and then like a red beans and rice. So the different pictures on the back. I did the jambalaya, and it was great. Um, I did tell you guys that we are, well, my husband's more vegetarian, so we don't use a lot of meat. I mean, when I do cook meat, he eats it very rarely. So I didn't put sausages in there, but, you know, I've had it full of shrimp and everything. It was good, and I cooked mine. Um, I used mine in the crock pot today. So, um, be because I was working and I didn't have time to really be standing over no stove. And so, um, I put that in the crock pot, threw some little, you know, veggies, onions, and garlic, and, um, celery, and bell peppers, and some other little things up in there. And I let that stuff, you know, cook up in that crock pot. I add my shrimp, and then added in some, just some instant rice in there, and it was to die for. I mean, Oh my God, my husband was like, uh, is there leftovers? Can I, can I get some more? Okay, he was happy. So, um, this is definitely a win-win for us. Um, I did buy two. I used one today, so I only have this one left. This expires next month, though. So, I'm trying to see how I can work this out. I'm hoping that... Um, Dollar Tree will carry it for a while and just get some more in and the expiration date goes a little further out. If not, I will be going to the regular grocery store to see if I can find it in store because this definitely was a win-win for us. Um, I plan to go pick up some more, at least two more between now and July 12th. So, because I plan to make some red beans and rice next week with it. And then probably the following week, I'm going to make some gumbo and then turn around and that jambalaya one more time. So, um, definitely, if you have not tried it, definitely try it. If you have hauled it and still haven't cooked it yet, please, please, please cook it because it's good. It's definitely good. And I'm actually... Um, I'll be doing a big grocery shopping this coming weekend, and I'm going to check my regular grocery store to see if they actually carry this. If they don't, I'm going to be so bummed because when Dollar Tree stops carrying it, you know, I'm not going to have it. So, um, Swanson's, they, they did the thing with that one because I, I like that one. I mean, it was good. I just added a little bit of um, 
garlic salt just to the top of, of mine. You know, nobody else, but just to the top of mine. Just a little bit, even though, yeah, I know the sodium. But that, and just that little bit, it was great. So, that was my thrift haul, and that was my review on those two items from Dollar Tree. Yes, they are the business. Um, I do want to try that chicken, that Tuscany chicken. Um, so I can make a chicken noodle soup type deal. Um, so I might try that, pick that up this weekend coming too. Um, so we'll see. But I do plan to do another thrift haul. It all depends on how much I get done on Friday. Uh, I have a lot. I got a, I got in service Friday. So I'll be at work from 8 to 4.30. So that's going to mess with my run around time. Because, you know, once I get done, I have to get ready for camp. But I plan to definitely, you know, go to the grocery store and get that taken care of. And then if I have enough time or if I can squeeze that in before the store, then I plan to definitely go um, back to uh, my thrift store and see what else I can find. I did see some dishes. Um, I saw... I saw some spring dishes that I thought would be awesome for next spring. But, you know, it's the luck of the draw when it's the thrift store. So, we'll see. But, that's all I have for you tonight. So, please like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in a new video. Bye-bye.